welcome back to the youtube channel my name is victor and welcome to victory design so in today's video i'll be talking to you about how to do local seo yes i know a lot of businesses are actually local and they want their businesses to rank locally so in this video i'm going to teach you how you can do local seo to get your business to rank on your environment or your locality um, or to rank yourself as a business in your locality so if you watch this video to the end you gain the knowledge on how you can do this yourself without employing or wasting money on it now this video i explain i'm going to explain everything step by step so you can get it without wasting money so without wasting more time let's get started so to do local seo you need one thing first which is the first and foremost thing to do is to set up your business yes set up your business properly a good business online with good promotion will make more sales than a bad business with good promotion so you want to have a good business your profile have to be optimized you have to make sure that your business have a good personality online think of it as a person think of your business as a person if your business is a person how do you want people to see it so you must have a good personality online as a business before you can be able to say okay i want to do local seo now to do local seo the first place you need to start after getting uh, making sure that your business has a good personality online see those negative reviews those bad comments you want to deal with them and ensure that you settle all those things so that you have a good personality now after that the first place you want to go to get your business stable online is google my business yes google my business that is the first place you want to go to because everyone in your locality when they're looking for something they go to google they search pom -pom -pom, search for the nearest um let's assume you are a fashion designer so they search for the nearest fashion designer or fashion designer near me and boom the businesses that appear first are those on google my business so if you are not on google my business then people won't see you because google is trying to ensure that google my business rank higher than any listing website or directory website so you want to ensure that you're on google my business first as a business so how do you set up google my business profile we have a video on our channel that teaches you how to set up google my business profile you can literally search for it or you can go to our playlist and check for seo and then you see the google my business video there but to set it up is very easy just go to business.google.com and then sorry business.google.com and then you can get yourself started by employing your business but if you need the service of someone you can hire your hire us to help you do that so the next thing you want to do is to use relevant keyword in your business optimization yes even if you're posting your business on google my business you want to use relevant keyword because keywords are what makes your business show up on google when i mean keyword what do i mean those words that people type in or those words that you type in on google that bring out what you're looking for so for example someone near you is looking for fashion designer what would they search for fashion designer near me so you want to ensure that you rank for the keyword fashion designer so that every time someone searches for that you are going to show up yes you can make it a long take keyword or a short take keyword it all depends on you a long take keyword simply means adding different keywords together or adding different words together to form a perfect sentence such that if a person search for one or any of the words there you're going to show up for it so that's a long term keyword so you want to make sure that you optimize your business your local business locally you want to do that so that anybody that search for your business around that environment is going to see you and your business is going to pop up so that's that so the third way to ensure that your business is found locally is to do local citation yes when i mean local citation what do i mean you want to be on directory listing website yes local directory listing website to be precise you have a lot of directory listing website out there you have a business.com.ng you have a nigeria business you have there are a lot of them out there that you can use that are for local businesses so you want to make sure that your businesses are or your business or businesses whichever one you are doing are on this citation platform or this uh, visibility platform this platform are where people go to to search for local businesses for example if i'm looking for a business in nigeria there is a place i could go to which is a uh, nigeria businesses or i could even go to cac because it contains um, all the register registration or registry or registered business in nigeria so i could go to cac and just search for it there and then go to see it so you want your business to be on every directory listing platform in all local citations in your locality so you want to look for which um which directory platform is ranking in your locality and then see how possible or how best you can fit your business into that platform and ensure you run locally 
so with that you can get customer and your seo will be fluent in your website by the way that reminds me um local businesses send back backlinks to your website if your business is listed on their platform especially if you have a website so if you are a business it's more profitable for you to have a website so that these local businesses or local directory or listed website can send you traffic from their platform down to your platform where people can reach you so it's not just enough to put your business out there you have to have a website for it so that people can visit you there so number four is local link building so as i said before if you're working with directory listed website you want to ensure that your business have a standard website that um, this directory platform are going to send users to at the end of the day so what you want to do also is to try to build backlinks from this all these local websites yes build local backlinks so that your website will run locally now how do we, how do you explain backlinks now backlinks is like chains now let's say four chains these are four chains i don't know what best to use to explain this right now okay let's let me use this so uh backlinks these are like four chains coming together now this is your platform now these four chains that are coming here this bar represents four chains now they are coming here people are coming for this four chain but they are going nowhere they are stopping them now backlink is simply fixing your own platform to this four chain so that when people are coming for this four chain they are going to your own platform so they are stopping at your platform instead of stopping at this place so with backlink you are this other um, directory platform or businesses are sending people from their own platform down to your platform so that's backlink and that gives you a more uh, ability to stand higher or to go to get bigger in local searches so that's another way you could do local SEO for your business. So number five is local reviews. Yes, local reviews. You want to ensure that you have local reviews. And now when you are doing local reviews, you're not just um, telling people to review your business. They should review your business, adding the keyword of your business to that review. So for example, someone wants to comment on your business as a fashion designer or the best fashion designer in a um, city. Now what, they, what you need them to do is to go to your uh, to your comment or reviews or any on any platform if it's facebook um, listing website google my business wherever now once they get there what you want them to do next is to comment something that is relating to the keyword you are standing for so i could say um, um let's say debbie's fashion is the best fashion designing um is it agency or uh whatever so but debbie fashion is the best fashion house in beneath city edo state you understand now google already knows that okay your platform is in Guinea city is in those state and you have you are a fashion designer and the name of your business is debbie fashion so if someone search for debbie fashion uh fashion designer fashion designer in the state fashion designer in Guinea city you have a chance of standing from just that review four chances so you see once you get those reviews you get as many of those those sorts you get reviews just like that back to back back to back you have a higher chance of showing up Whenever somebody search for fashion designer in Benin City. Now, the last one. So, number six, which is the last, which I promise to share at the end of this video, is using local social management techniques. Yes, local social management techniques. Social media management techniques. Local. Now, you don't want to go too high in your um, in posting your on your platform. For example, if you are in Benin City, uh, you are a fashion designer. Now your keyword or your uh, your social platform when you are posting you should have tags of Benin city fashion designers in Benin city fashion designer in the exact place in Benin city fashion designer in Edo state you want to do ensure that your social media are actually optimized to that locality so you know some people go to instagram and search for businesses so uh, if you are well optimized both the content you are writing the hashtags you are using the tagging whatever you're doing on that uh, post or on your social media it should contain a local optimized uh, keyword that could help you rank on any platform so if you do that very well if you're on instagram you're on pinterest now i know a lot of nigerians actually ignore pinterest but you see pinterest pinterest is a good mind when it comes to local business searches it's a good mind i'm telling you because a lot of times keywords you can find on google you find them on pinterest and when people search for these things Pinterest rank very high. And I noticed that Pinterest even rank more than a lot of websites out there. So if you have uh, Pinterest as a business, you are on the safer side. So that when people search for certain um, skill or certain services, 
on Google, Pinterest will easily rank attract some of those other websites and then put you on the first or on the top. I hope you understand, guys. So you want to stick to Pinterest and ensure that okay, platform like Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, you want to stay there. You want to optimize your content, you want to ensure that your social media are managed properly with local keywords so that you can rank locally. I hope I've been able to explain how to rank your business locally by doing local SEO. If this video have actually helped you, please like this video, comment if you have any issue, and share this video to a business or a business owner that you know actually needs this video. So thanks for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you on our next video. And if you have any question regarding SEO for local businesses, please go to our playlist on our YouTube channel and then you check for SEO and you see everything about um, getting your business out there as a business locally or internationally. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.